Hello, this is Anna and welcome to Quick Healthy Italian. Today I'm going to be making my rice balls. They're also called in Italian suppli di riso. Sometimes they call them arancini di riso because arancio is an orange and they're like little oranges. And they're stuffed with mozzarella cheese. They're uh, fried very quickly and the mozzarella gets all nice and melty inside and the outside is really crunchy and crispy. They're wonderful. Everybody loves these, so stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make them. Here's my uh, water and my rice and salt and I have it in a big pot and I'm just going to bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, I'm going to put a top on it, put it down to low and then let the rice absorb all the water and then we'll take you to the next step. Okay, I'm back. Now um, all my rice is completely cooked and I'm going to take the top off. Yeah, it's all nice and done. Okay, so now I'm going to this. I'm going to add two cans of organic tomato sauce. This is 15 ounces. Two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix it all in really well. Okay, I'm just going to keep mixing. I'll see you back in just about a minute. Okay, so now I've uh, transferred all of this nice mixture of rice and tomato sauce into my bowl, as you can see, and it's all coming together. Now I'm going to take my box grater and I'm going to grate some nice parmigiano reggiano into this. So we got to get that nice parmigiano flavor in there, and that's going to be your salt. You don't need to add any more salt to this because the Parmesan cheese is salty enough. And it's nice and sharp. A nice sharp taste of Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, so I put in about a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano and I'm just going to mix this in and then I'm going to show you how to assemble these balls. Okay, so I've got lots of Parmigiano in here and I'm just going to get in here with my hands. I'm just going to mix it up with my hands. And you know, the best tools you have really for mixing sometimes and getting the job done are right at the end of your arms, your hands. Don't be afraid to get in there and really mix it together. Get in there and play with your food. See? Mix it all together. Oh, yeah. So, the nice thing about this basmati rice, which is what I like to use, is it's kind of sticky. And some people add an egg to this recipe. I don't find it necessary because once you get these ingredients together, the rice is, is pretty sticky on its own, and then you put the parmigiano and the tomato in it, and it's kind of, it's just all kind of sticks together. So you're not going to worry about that. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to wash my hands, and then we're going to assemble these. Okay, so I put some breadcrumbs here in one of these little uh, casserole dishes, and then to that, I'm going to add a little bit of granulated Mediterranean sea salt and then we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder. We're just going to mix all that together just like that. And on this side I'm going to put some eggs. And the amounts of uh, breadcrumbs and eggs will vary depending on how many of these rice balls you're making. I am making a ton of them because they just go like hotcakes here. And then whatever we don't eat today, we'll eat tomorrow. And whatever we don't eat tomorrow, we're going to freeze for another day. So they never go to waste. And since I'm doing all this, I may as well make extra. Right? May as well. Okay, these are ready. So I'm going to put these here, and now I am going to get my mozzarella, and we're going to make the rice balls. Okay, so I'm going to be using some uh, bocconcini. Uh, these are little little bocconcini. This is fresh mozzarella. Okay, so I'm, I have some of these on hand, and then I don't have enough, so then I also have this um, mozzarella di bufala. You see the buffalo on there? This is buffalo milk mozzarella, which is the very best, the best, the best, the best. And they make this in the region of Campania, where Napoli is, Naples. 
And you can't believe it. Some people are so surprised that uh, Naples or the region of Campania is full of these wild buffalo, these buffalo that make this wonderful mozzarella. And they produce an, enough mozzarella for the entire world. So think about um, how many buffalo and, and, and how amazing that is. If you consider how small even just the country of Italy is, it's smaller than the entire state of California. And within that one region, they produce so much mozzarella and parmigiano and prosciutto and wonderful wines. I mean, it's just amazing what kind of culinary delicacies come out of Italy. Okay, so I'm going to take my rice mixture and I'm just going to make a little ball oh, about this size, just like this. You see that? Arancino di riso, see? Because it looks like a little rice, a little um, orange. A rice ball, a little arancino. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bocconcino. I'm going to put the bocconcino inside the arancino. Just like that. Bocconcino comes from the word bocca, which is mouth, little mouth, little bite for the mouth. And you know now what arancino means. Okay, so then we're going to go in to the egg mixture. And then we're going to go into the breadcrumbs. Just like that. Coat it nicely, and then you just put it on your little platter, and you just keep going. Okay, I'm going to show you one more where you can actually see inside the bowls. Okay, so here we go. My rice ball, just like that. We take a bocconcino, I push it right like that in the middle. See, close it up. So it's all inside there like a nice little present. It's a nice little surprise when you bite into that. Oh, you're going to love that surprise. Then you just dip it in the egg. Okay, into the breadcrumbs. And then onto your platter. There, just like that. You see? Okay, so I'm going to keep going with this and then we're going to get ready to cook them. So stay with me. Okay, I have my deep fryer here, and I have um, vegetable oil in this. And the secret to keeping this light and healthy is you want to have the temperature high. I have it at 425, and then we're going to fry it just for a very short time so that the arancini don't absorb a whole lot of that oil, and yet they still get crispy, and the mozzarella inside gets nice and gooey. So it is been preheating, and it's at 425, and if you don't have one of these, then you can just put them in a regular big pot and, and get one of those um, temperature gauges that you can set at the side of the pot and that way you can see what the temperature is when it reaches 425 that's when you're ready to go. So I'm putting these things down in here. You want to take a look and see? Here they're in their little oil frying away. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. Let them do their thing. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been four minutes, and these are ready. I'm going to take them out of my fryer, and then here onto my plate. It's been lined with a paper towel. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Don't those look beautiful? Mmm. Nice and crispy. Okay, we're going to let them sit there just a couple minutes. They're going to, well, not even a couple minutes. That's too long. We want to break into one of these. Okay, so I'm going to get a knife. We're going to cut one open, and I'll show you what they look like inside. Okay, we're going to cut one of these open. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. See that? See all that mozzarella? Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at that. Oh, yummy. See those strings of mozzarella? That's what you want. Mmm. 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 <laughs> wow. That is so good. You gotta make these. You're gonna love these. They're delicious. They're light. They're crispy. They're gooey. And they are gonna be a showstopper. So 
make sure you try these and please subscribe and uh, pretty soon I'll show you one more of my favorites coming up very soon. So stay tuned.